the Thoughty OT podcast. So I just go to this physical therapy place to learn how to walk properly and hold a pencil because I right. couldn't hold a pencil properly or really do anything right. Was that was that kind of something that was because I know that, um, you know, for, for myself, I I have like this massive like bump on one of my fingers because I always used to like write way too hard and I'd like yeah. break the pencil. Oh. Like my handwriting is is absolutely awful, um, which I find it's 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 really funny. It's um, I think I know that there is some crossover between like autism and um, other neurodiversities like dyspraxia, yeah. um, but I, I do also know that because of our like differing sensory systems, we can sometimes be quite like uh insensitive to like our, our feeling of balance or like our awareness of our body without without looking at it um it's something that something that i struggled with um for quite a while actually and it's it's really funny when i do um interviews and stuff where people are wanting to talk about like my sporting experience and stuff or if someone says you know you have really good balance to do all these kicks and you know, spins and acrobatic things. And the only reason why I'm good at doing those things is because I endlessly practice them at home on my own <laughs> constantly, like before all of my practices and, you know, outside of the like Taekwondo training sessions I did. Um, so it's, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Do, do you have a diagnosis of dyspraxia or is it, is it more kind of that autism difficulty with the, you know, body positioning and stuff. I do have a dyspraxia diagnosis, actually, and I, I I love it. Well, not really. I mean, the reason why I love it is because I work with the Dyspraxia Foundation, and that's been very oh. eye-opening for me. So I just love turning the negative into a positive. So yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying my best. But I find it, it's, it's, it's really interesting because my, um, my partner is, um, dyspraxic and we're currently, we're cr currently, um, I'm thinking that she's a little, a little bit autistic or she, well, obviously not a little bit autistic, autistic or not, but, um, but I'm, I'm still, I, I don't really know a lot about, dyspraxia i know that it's around motor coordination and, and and balance and stuff like that but um i don't know is is it something that that sort of influences like your um behaviors is it something like a psychological is there a psychological aspect to it i don't think so it's more connected to motor skills and your balance mm -hmm. i know that it I'm trying to remember what it was for me. Oh, well, it's I definitely have balance issues, and that is why everyone is always floored when I'm walking in heels. Everyone <laughs> asks me, how do you walk in heels so well when you have dyspraxia? And my answer is that I always practice. There you go. And... I just think that another thing is that it's hard for me to tell my left and right apart. So I think mm -hmm. that's connected to it. But yeah. the, he the heels thing is all for show because I feel like even I have trouble walking in them. I'm very wobbly. I mean, by pageant standards, I could use a lot of work, but that's me. And I feel like I'm very unique. Yeah, it's really interesting. I actually, it's it's funny that you mentioned the Dyspraxia Foundation because I'm I'm currently chatting to the people over there. I'm I'm yet to send them an email um, because I I kind of want to understand a bit more about that aspect of of neurodiversity because, as I said, it's I, I'm not too aware or clued up on like the like the psychological side of those things. I don't know whether it's just something, you know perhaps when when people are looking at helping kids or adults with like dyspraxia that maybe they're just autistic as well because of the crossover 
or whether it's something to do with just being dyspraxic, if that makes sense. Well, since autism and dyspraxia are both, they definitely cross over. Mm -hmm. So I think that they could very well be autistic, the person that you're talking about. <laughs> I will let them know that. I, I, I'm excited to, to, to dive into more of that, that kind of side of things. But, but, um, yeah, the Dyspraxia Foundation has been lovely. I enjoyed working with them. What kind of uh, work have you done with them? A lot of volunteering, and I've messaged them a lot back and forth. We talk a lot about ambassador programs. I've been their ambassador before, and they're just amazing. I can't wait to work more with them in the future. <laughs> 